Horace Derwent was born as the youngest sibling in a family of four from rural Ireland. They would immigrate to America when Durant was just six years old, and they were, he was quoted at saying that the Statue of Liberty was such a sight that it brought tears to his entire family's eyes as the prospect of having a better life overwhelmed them with happiness. But the grim realities of immigrant life soon became evident, and their dreams came to a screeching halt. The Derwent family were forced to live in a crowded tenement along with multiple other families also working at the nearby textile factory. The conditions at this factory were terrible and many accidents occurred. One such accident took the life of Horace's older brother and this event would permanently scar him. The father, who was faced with broken dreams, death of a child, and the hardships of poverty, would resort to alcohol to drown away his sorrows, resulting in a cycle of serial abuse that would lead Horace to resort to crime in order to escape the nightmare he was currently living in. The Gopher Gang would provide the escape he oh so desired, and by working hard and rising from the, through the ranks from a henchman to the boss's right-hand man, Derwent would learn the ins and outs of organized crime until eventually he would be able to form his own gang, the Westies, which would employ multiple underground business ventures including bootlegging during a prohibition era and underground gambling. Even though his rise came during the Great Depression, he was able to gain an immense amount of wealth, and this wealth put a target on his back. The Genovese crime family and the Russian mob and the Tanglewood boys would all have an eye out for Horace Derwent as they sought his territory and his power. The constant pressure of Derwent's enemies influenced him to move across the country to Sidewinder, Colorado where he, where he would find refuge in his own personal palace known as the Overlook Hotel. The hotel would serve as a front for his criminal empire as well as provide another stream of revenue. It is rumored that Derwent carried out multiple mob killings within his hotel walls, but his home away from home for the wealthy would remain as one of the hot spots of the decade. The balls held at the Overlook were rumored to be extravagant and the parties over the top, but even with the greatness that came along with Derwent's new palace, there were also the evil souls that rested within it. As long as he was the owner, the souls of all those who lost their lives within its walls would remain there forever to haunt those that would later seek refuge within its helm. Derwent would later sell the Overlook Hotel to a group of California investors for an unknown reasons. And soon after, he would also lose his life to the enemies that he had been running away from for so long. Even though his physical being was now dead, his metaphysical self would live on for eternity within the palace he built, and go on to influence the stories of many to come. Now, recently discovered footage from the Overlook Hotel's remains showed the moments leading up to the explosion that eventually eliminated Forest Service Palace in the face of the map. Mouse, come out, wherever you are. Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in.
Here's Johnny. <laughs> 